If you look around on my YouTube channel, you will find that I do a lot of cycling and like to create cycling videos from them, especially on my holidays. Uh, I like to bring around, for example, this uh, action cam. This is a Sony FDR-X3000 and creates 4K videos. And it's a lot of fun to relive my climbs and especially downhill rides from coals and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, and besides that, I like to take with me a camera. Uh, this is my uh, Fujifilm X-T30 and it creates beautiful photos. And I also take with me my iPhone for more like uh, in the moment uh, snaps. Um, and from all this, I like to create compilation videos with information, uh, a little bit of information of what I was, uh, what village I was riding to, what goal I was climbing, how high it was, how many kilometers did I ride and all that kind of stuff. And uh, uh, sometimes I create comp these compilation videos months after the actual rides. And I don't exactly remember Oh, what was that village that I, that I was riding to or uh, yeah, what, what is that thing uh, that I'm looking at? Um, uh, so wouldn't it be nice if I would have some kind of GPS information with coordinates of where I was at the moment. And it turns out that, uh, for example, this, uh, this action cam does have that uh, information. Every video is accompanied by an XML file with uh, metadata and in the metadata usually is GPS data. So very good. Now, I've been looking that into that and for the first couple of times I've uh, used this, uh, I found, well, first of all, I found out that this one stores the GPS coordinates in degrees, minutes, and seconds. And Google Maps, if you want to pa paste it in there, uh, wants decimals. So I need to convert that. And there's a website for that. But uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, a couple of, of couple of times I've been thinking, uh, there should be a better way to do this than copy paste all these numbers all the time. So I was thinking, well, I'll make the boring stuff. Let's create it in Python. So I created Python code that read all the XML files in a directory of all the video files in one go and converted it into decimal. And I was thinking, why stop there? Why not also use Python to plot it on the map? And uh, it turns out that was possible. I found some kind of solution online. Uh, it was a bit of a clunky solution, but at a certain point I showed on Twitter, hey, look everybody, I got a map of all my uh, video locations uh, of a cycling ride. And uh, one of the Twitter users, uh, Bob Hafner, actually responded and said, uh, there's actually a much better Python library to do that for you, and it's called Folium. And I tried Folium, and indeed uh, it, was, uh, it made much be more beautiful maps uh, you can zoom in and out of them you can create tags in the tags when you click on them you can put information like for example the file name of the video file or uh, the creation date and time so you know exactly what date time the the video was created on what uh, place so that's very nice and i was thinking well why stop there why not also put in uh, image data image locations well, here I ran into a little bit of a snack because this wonderful Fuji film camera, it turns out it doesn't store GPS uh, metadata. Uh, I was very much surprised about that. I was thinking every modern camera does that. Turns out I got the wrong one. Uh, so, uh, but the iPhone does store uh, 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 ge geo coordinates uh, in its metadata. And I was able to get that out of the JPEG files that uh, it created. So all good, right? And then of course, Apple changed the format from JPEG to hike, H-E-I-C. And of course I have to find new libraries to read the, these files, find the metadata. And of course, GPA, the, the longitude and long latitudes are stored in a little bit different format. So I had to find out how to calculate that as well. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting better, getting further with my project uh, now. Uh, and it actually does work. And I have to say, uh, when people say, automate the boring stuff, uh, you'd think you can find solutions with Python for all your daily problems, but usually there's already a tool for it. And I don't bother creating that, uh, that tool then, because why, why, yeah, why, why make something that's already there? But for this, there was actually a thing, there was no thing. So I actually been creating my own uh, solution and that's a lot of fun uh, uh, to, create it um, so that was an interesting lesson there's finally a thing that I can automate uh, for myself that has not existed before 
And uh, yeah, and you can find the solution uh, that I created on GitHub and possibly improve. Uh, find find my code. Have a look. Uh, it's uh, it's it it. It has to be improved uh, quite a bit because I s I've created it last year and uh, I find out now I've lear learned so much Python in the last year that uh, I already uh, cringe about what I forgot to do, like putting doc documentation and that kind of stuff. So um, uh, things are improving all the time. Uh, I hope you liked it uh, and maybe you learned something and uh, see you around. <laughs>